Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome here to this late Bitcoin price update. It's uh, almost 11 p.m. here. So welcome here to the live stream and um, don't forget if you want to trade anything you're watching here, all the cryptos you want and uh, of course also you want to create an account on any of these exchanges that you see here like Bybit, then don't forget you find all the links to sign up to those exchanges down below here in the video description of the YouTube video. I will also add it later on here on the Twitch live stream. So make sure to use the links that you find down below here because with my links you can get some bonus and as well uh, make sure to subscribe here on Twitch on my channel Alessandro the Crypto and of course on YouTube because it is very important that you subscribe to both channels and also that you are part of the Discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is uh, welcome. So we're having now a small Bitcoin price update because currently um, we just had a CME close here. So we closed the CMEs here at $10,600 and uh, wherever we are going through the weekend, whatever price action we're going to see, uh, we're most likely going to retrace to this price level here. So this $10,600 here on the CME. Uh, chart which in the spot price should be at around ten thousand five hundred to ten thousand four hundred dollars and uh, We're gonna open up again on Monday and uh, If we're gonna have a big pump or dump then we're gonna have a new future gap like we have this one down below here at nine thousand six hundred dollar uh, So let's see how this weekend is gonna be and what are the targets? so let me know where are you watching from and if you're in a trade or not I will come to my trade now pretty soon and uh, I, of course I went long, I will explain you why and also why uh, this uh, long is a bit disappointing because I was hoping today to close this CME gap that we have here 9600. I was pretty confident that we're gonna close this CME gap today but it looks like that we're gonna take more time to close it. Because Bitcoin today in my own indicator and shout out to all the members that are part uh, in my 24-7 um, stream over on Discord. You can also access to this uh, free Discord trading chat stream if you give a donation of 0.01 Bitcoin. You are um, able to see my indicator 24-7. And uh, some of you I know that took this uh, long down here because we had a perfect nicely... Uh, a bounce signal here, a buy signal in this area. So right after this signal flashed, we had this dump here where you could scale in your long position. And this is also what I did. The problem is uh, that we didn't go that low as I thought. So I was thinking that most likely we're going down to close this gap that we may be going to test here this uh, new support that we have at around $9,500. So only a couple of uh, longs got executed, just this one over here. And uh, on the way, actually, I also uh, got stopped out in profits on one trade and then Immediately I scaled in some others, but the big ones down here after the gap filling didn't execute yet And we are seeing already here a push to the upside Currently, so this uh, buy signal is in play and of course right now because we are entering the weekend I have a tight stop loss here uh, To not get liquidated or be underwater because on the weekend everything is possible We could see a big pump. We could see a big dump, but most likely on Monday. We're gonna continue this uh, possible um, long opportunity down here that we had here at around ten thousand four hundred to ten thousand two hundred dollar, and I think the target should be at around eleven thousand dollar. You can also see in my trade here I already had here the exit uh, level here at eleven thousand dollar because I think that most likely we're gonna test here this moving average uh, that you can see here in the four hour in the Bollinger Band, uh, which is also coinciding here with some moving averages, and that's why I think most likely we are going. Uh, to retest this 11,000 area here, maybe with this move here to the upside, potentially during the weekend, but pot maybe also during the next week. So hello, S. Wolfy, nice to have you back here in the live stream. And um, yes, Igrai77, probably we're gonna close this CME gap uh, next week. Yeah, I was expecting it maybe to close today because uh, very often we see on Fridays big price action in the Bitcoin price. But uh, yeah, it looks like that um, 
we're gonna need more time till we're gonna close that gap down below here and uh, this is only um, filled uh, if you're trading from Monday to Friday so when the CMEs are open and currently wherever we are going we, we are not gonna close this uh, gap down here so we have to wait for Monday and uh, if you're also interested in uh, watching my indicator here 24 7 then you can contact me over on discord if you give the donation of 0 0.01 bitcoin just to keep alive the stream to pay the electricity cost then uh, you can access to it all the time this is also how it looks like here you can see that uh, we have the bitcoin price here above and the dxy compared to the bitcoin price in the lower area here with the same indicator so like this you can be sure that um, we're gonna have a valid signal signal or not because as you can see today we had a buy signal down here and in the dxy we had the opposite we had here a sell signal before so we were here in this uh, overbought condition here we didn't come up here to complete overbought but uh, as soon as the dxy is looking toppy and bitcoin is uh, looking like it's gonna bottom then most of the times these signals are uh, valid and we're gonna see a big bounce to the upside in the bitcoin price like we have we are seeing right now it's not a big bounce and the problem is that we are entering right now uh, the weekend so on the weekend everything is possible but i think on monday we should um, be gearing up again here for a possible move to the upside towards 11k and there we're gonna have to see if we should open a short or not but currently i'm just trading here based on my indicator and if you also want to get access to it uh, you can of course uh, contact me on discord so i will explain you how it works and how you can get access here on uh, discord and you can see it 24 7 just with a small donation to support the channel and the uh, live stream so hello to you beer polka nice to have you back here in the live stream uh, i hope you did some nice gains with the recent uh, dump and pump that we're seeing and uh, this little pump that we're seeing now from this potential double bottom here in the one uh, in the four hour that you can see at ten thousand dollar could be a short lift one um i think we will go down again probably next week to fill also this cme gap that we have below of us um, but currently it looks like that we are gearing up here for a possible uh, 11k retest at least 11k maybe even 11,500. But uh, with my trade, since uh, not much got executed currently, um, yeah, just 1,000 contracts. Uh, I think at 11,000, I'm gonna get out here of this uh, trade and I have a stop loss at uh, 10,480. You see that my entry price is right here 10,360. So I tried to along uh, the bottom here as much as possible, but uh, since we didn't drop below here, so not too much below here i think uh, yeah a way better entry was very difficult to get um of course this indicator will not give you the perfect bottom but at least it, it will give you a good entry price and also uh, it will give you um a good opportunity area like a good uh, circumstance to uh, enter your trade so if you're not sure if this is the right time to go long or short uh, um then this indicator is very helpful all right and uh, here in the one hour you can see that currently we're trading above the 20 moving average so i think right now we could be gearing up here for a possible bounce to the upside potentially here between 11,500 to 11,000 um, dollar i think we could see this during the weekend or maybe uh, next week but sooner or later we will come down latest next week or within the next couple of weeks to fill also the gap at, that we have down at nine thousand six hundred dollars so here the one hour is looking like that we could see here some continuation to the upside and if we go over to the four hour also here you can see we're trading below all the moving averages the 20 is right here at our previous resistance at uh, eleven thousand dollar so i think it is very likely that we're going to test this level if you're able to push through then watch out for the 200 moving average in the four hour at eleven thousand 500 and if we have a look here into the dxy i told you in some videos ago that uh, if we're gonna have a breakthrough here from this channel then watch out for the 200 moving average in the, in the dxy because so far this moving average is giving us resistance as it did already here you can see that we had a spike to the upside uh, but we got rejected from it and currently we're seeing another uh, dump 
only if you had the 20 and 50 moving average would go above the 200 here and the price would start to build up support above the 200 moving average in the four hour i think we could be in here for a possible big spike to the upside here in the dxy and this could be very dangerous for bitcoin so this could lead into a major crash and also in the stock market uh, i'm expecting some more pushes to the downside if the dxy is able to push to the upside here I'm pretty bearish here for the DXY for the long term, but at least for the short term, we could see some bounce to the upside. And um, it's also going to be dependent if we are able to close above the 20 daily moving average or not. Here we got a buy signal in the daily. And I think it is still possible that even here we could go up to the 200 daily moving average at $97. That would indicate that um, we're going to see a major dump in the crypto space and also in the in the stock market this is what um, makes me believe that such a dump is still in the cards only based here on the dxy and um, yeah otherwise i think um, bitcoin and uh, overall the altcoins could maybe retrace back to the 200 daily moving average here bitcoin here at around 9100 dollar that could that is possible at least this is where i'm gonna start to really uh, buy everything back and if we really drop below the 200 daily moving average so maybe towards the 200 weekly moving average here at six thousand six hundred dollar i don't think we will go down there but if so then i'm gonna definitely put some fresh fiat in there and uh, buy as much as i can the problem is here that uh, i had a sell signal here and the last time this appeared here in overbought condition was here when we topped out at uh, uh, $14,000 since then we had a retracement back down uh, almost 50% or even more and um, yeah then we had again a buy signal here when we bottomed at 7400 then of course this March crash came that no one was expecting and uh, since then we recovered perfectly so far everything is still good to go to the upside uh, but since the CME gap is still open I think it is very likely that we will go lower and um, uh, beer polka ethereum targets if bitcoin hits uh, 11k well that is going to be very interesting to see where um, ethereum is going to um well i don't think we will see 480 dollars again uh, maybe something around 420 dollars this is my expectation 420 maybe even up to 450 that is possible um yeah the thing is that so far we're trading below the 20 daily moving average here at 405 dollars and um yeah maybe at least so far you see that uh, bitcoin is performing a bit better than ethereum it is possible that ethereum will follow um but i'm not too bullish on ethereum either here if bitcoin is going to 11k and then get rejected there because also bitcoin here you can see uh we have the 50 and 20 daily moving average above us. Uh, so even if we go up today here towards 11K, where I'm gonna exit my long position, most likely we're getting rejected here. Um, at least this is my opinion because we still have the CME gap. But for Ethereum, watch out for the 420 to 450 dollar level. I don't think we will go way higher there. Uh, as, so, as soon as Bitcoin is going to fill the gap uh, at 9,600, from there on everything is possible again. But since we initiated now the correction, it is very likely that we are going to fill that gap and um, have to find our new bottom here. Hopefully only here at the 200 daily moving average, the worst case would be at $6,600. But that's why I'm telling you guys, if you can manage to... Uh, uh, keep alive your trades it doesn't matter where you enter you should be doing fine and if you're using my indicator for everyone that already signed up uh, to my 24 7 stream um, also if you enter here the long position for example today make sure that you're able to scale in your position uh, uh, down to the worst case scenario with which today was at around $9,000 because like this, you are sure that you're gonna be good as soon as this signal is gonna play out. And Igorai77, you wrote that um, bounce was pathetic. After such a big down, we should have much, much stronger bounce. I seriously doubt there is a buy sign to go to 11,400 during the weekend, uh, 11,000 max in my opinion. Yes, that is also my opinion. That's why I closed 
at least I'm gonna close here at eleven thousand uh, dollar. Um, yeah, but sometimes on the weekend, as you know, it's playtime. We can see some crazy moves, so we can even go up here towards twelve thousand dollar again before uh, we're gonna correct again. Everything is possible, and that's why you should be prepared also for this. If the normal case happens, like we're just gonna top out here the eleven k and then come back down again. Um, then you should be also good but if we're gonna see something crazy like this you should be able uh, to manage it and here we still don't have here a bearish uh, bullish cross in the MACD so if this happens during the weekend then prepare for a possible big push to the upside which then maybe um, I'm gonna have to check again my indicator if there I'm gonna get a sell signal like here then I think it's good to short again and then wait for a good uh, close uh, uh, opportunity and of course also maybe to sell a bit and rebuy back in cheaper once we're gonna have the uh, CME gap filled. So remember if you want to use uh, Bybit, Femex or BTR those are the exchanges that I recommend. Use the links that you find down below here in the video description of my YouTube videos. I'm gonna also edit here on the Twitch video with my links you can uh, get some uh, sign up bonus. Currently if you use all of these links here uh, through all the exchanges you get $538 in bonus totally if you fulfill all the requirements and if you want to get access to my own indicator that you can see 24 7 in my live stream uh, you can um, uh, join it uh, for just a once in a lifetime donation of 0 0.01 uh, Bitcoin. This is how it looks like where you can see the Bitcoin price in the relevant time frame where this indicator is working and down below the US dollar index which is inverse correlated. So usually when uh, you get like here sell signals on Bitcoin and buy signals on DXY or at least we are overbought in Bitcoin and oversold on DXY for example then we always have an inver inverted correlation where uh, we have a similar situation like we had um, here during the last couple of days. We had a dump in the Bitcoin price and a pump here in the DXY and uh, I'm still very bearish for the DXY uh, but of course for the short term uh, we can still expect here a possible uh, continuation here to the upside even though DXY is very very weak as I told you already and we are still in this downwards moving channel here. Alright and uh, you wrote also you mentioned if CME closes during the weekend it is not of course not, because the CMEs are not trading. The CME is closed. That's why I brought here this uh, update um, to show you that the CME is closed here at uh, $10,600. So you can see that uh, this market is closed um, for now. Um, I think I have some delayed data here, but it's closed. Uh, you see the 4th of September at um, 8 p.m. UTC time and since 43 minutes it's closed this market and it's gonna reopen here on the 6th September at uh, 10 p.m. UTC time which in my time is exactly mid midnight on uh, Monday so on Monday um, it's gonna continue in my time here and uh, the market is closed here so if uh, we drop uh, right now or tomorrow down to 9600 this chart here will remain like this it will not change only the spot chart here like the bitstamp or binance chart only these charts are gonna um, go down to those levels but the cmes are gonna stay here so they're gonna reopen on um, monday and if we're gonna see a big pump or dump during the weekend we're gonna create a new future gap like we had over here this one uh, down to $9,600 and that's why um, it's not good if we're going right now down to uh, this level. The only good thing is that we would have two future gap above of us uh, that I think would be the perfect long opportunity and buy opportunity because then we just would have two big gaps above of us if we're gonna crash down to 9k during the weekend but usually you never see such perfect uh, trading uh, opportunities and that's why I think if we're gonna have any kind of big move during the weekend it's gonna be to the upside and then most likely retrace back down uh, before Monday. This is at least uh, my expectation. Yeah I, ho I hope this uh, helped and yeah that's why I was telling that uh, we have now the CME closed and we just gonna have now two days of playtime here and let's see how it's gonna play out and um yeah 
as I told you, if you want to use my indicator 24 seven, then make sure to contact me over on Discord to be able uh, to get access to my 24 seven stream. Only a one once in a lifetime donation is needed and you can access to it all the time. And of course, I'm also always um, doing maintenance on it to keep it alive. So whenever there is problems or delays, uh, I can always manage uh, because I have, uh, I'm building up a backup system as well. So don't worry about that. And um, yeah, I think that's it for the stream. That was a small update. And I think this pump just started uh, towards 11K. Maybe not during the week and maybe next week, but don't forget, we will eventually come down to fill this CME gap that we have. So um, this was just a, a little long opportunity, also based on my um, long indicator. I never would have longed right now, not as, lo not as long as we have the CME gap down here. That's why I also was scaling down to these price levels. But since my indicator already flashed here a buy signal, I took this long opportunity and I have now a stop loss and a take profit. So I'm fine with that. And um, if we're gonna have a sell signal during the week and I will reopen a short position because it's pretty sure that we're going down to close this uh, CME gap. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up. Don't forget, subscribe here to the channel on Twitch, also over on YouTube, very important. Uh, don't forget also to subscribe to our weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. It's sponsored by uh, Bityard, so make sure to uh, participate every week, and that's why make sure to subscribe here to the channel and use all the links that you find down below here if you need any kind of account on some exchanges or you, can, or you want to get some uh, free cryptos that you can get with my invitation links. Uh, you can uh, click through those links. Maybe you find one that is helpful for you as well. So thank you very much, my friends, for watching. Moon up the likes and a shout out to all the people that was live here on uh, Twitch. So we're going to see us all in the next one. And tomorrow we're going to bring a new update, of course, as usual. Thank you very much, my friends, and we're going to see us in the next one. Bye.